Hello and welcome back to Spanish Build Academy here in Imperion Galactic Survival. In today's episode, we are covering the copy and paste function. Now, copy and paste is only available in creative mode, so you can't uh, use it in your survival mode games, unfortunately. But if you are in creative mode, it is uh, pretty good, pretty good. Okay, so here I've got my uh, capital ship that I'm working on, and I've put a symmetry mode on check out my last episode uh to to cover symmetry modes how they work how to turn them on and things like that so i've got my symmetry mode going on here now i've created this sort of interesting looking cargo pod on the side of the ship here and i want to kind of adorn adorn the ship with a couple of these to make it to give it rid of that cargo ship feel um, but i don't want to have to you know rebuild this time and time again so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the copy and paste function to take a copy of that bit of the ship and put another one over there somewhere. Okay, so again, I'm going to hit the N key here, and this brings up the build and debug menu on the right-hand side here. And it, it, as you can see, it's currently set to symmetry plane. Okay, I'm going to leave that alone, but I'm going to just tick selection, and it moves the tick down. Okay, and now my mouse clicks are for selection okay so uh, i'm now just going to click and drag the mouse over the sort of rough ish area of what i want to copy and it doesn't need to be precise at this point okay just grab as much as as you're comfortable grabbing with the mouse there so if i then hit the n key again i release myself from the grips of doom and i can move around and you can notice this little blue field is still in place from where i click and drag the mouse this is good because this allows us to move into a place where we can see where it's not quite lining up what we want to achieve is we want this entire thing being inside this blue grid basically okay so i'm going to position myself here and i'm going to hit the n key again and this time i'm going to click on the black circle in the center of these this like arrow thing here i don't really know what it's called but this black circle here if i click that it changes the arrows to these blocks okay and these blocks allow you to increase the selection in the direction that you click okay so if i want it to go one more that way subsequently one more that way and uh, one more that way i just click on the corresponding block now, the double block is if you click, hold, and drag, you can drag it. So if you need to move it a lot, you can use the double ones to click and drag the blue field around. Hit N again to come out of the uh, the jaws of doom, and you can move around a bit more. And you can see where the blue field covers. Now, you'll notice here, the blue field just about overlaps these blocks here. Um, they're actually outside. Although, graphically, it looks like they're in. Kind of, they're not. They won't be included in the in the copy, okay? So because I've got, ideally I'd like to copy these pipes here so that they uh, they fully flush later on, but because I've got this lip here, um, I can't modify the blue field here to anything other than a perfect square or rectangle or anything like that. I can't give it any more sides. So uh, unless you want to copy these blocks, you have to do the best you can to encompass as much as you can in the blue field here, okay? Once you're happy that you've got your selection fully selected, everything is within the blue uh, field that you want to copy, uh, just hit that N key again. And down below the selection tick box here, you'll notice that we've got all sorts of different options, okay? So what we want to do is hit copy, okay? And then hit the N key again. And we're going to position, our, position ourselves in the best sort of location for for seeing where we want to move it to okay so i'm going to hit the n key again i'm going to hit that ball in the middle there uh twice to bring it back to the arrows and this these arrows move this selection okay so i need to move it quite far so i'm going to use the double arrow click and drag that blue box all the way over here and then move it back ever so slightly there hit n again make sure i'm happy with where it is looks good okay this is quite a simple one because it's on the same level, but if we wanted to go up, we could go up, we wanted to go down, left, right, you get the idea. Once your blue field is in the position you want it to be in, hit the N key again, come back over to the right hand side and click paste. Now, you'll see that the object sort of spawns in, uh, but this is just a hologram. The, the blue field is turned to green, okay? Uh, this means that it, it is still 
uh, in, in checking phase, I can now move it around, you see. So it's not really there. So just be careful. Uh, I've done it before where I've pressed paste once and then I've gone ahead and removed the selection and, and removed the entire copy. Um, so just be careful here. The green field means that it's just showing you a preview of what it's about to paste. This is really important because if you want to rotate it, change it, move it, this is the best way to visualize what it's going to look like when you do finally click that paste button, okay? So uh, if you want to move it, you can move it with the arrows. Uh, if you click the uh, black ball in the middle again, you can change to these ones and these rotate it, you see? So what you can often find is you'll rotate it and then it's out of alignment. You have to go back to the arrows, click one to align it. And then when you are happy that it's in the right place, click paste again. The field will go back to blue. Okay, and that means that it is now pasted that element. And what you can do is from there, you can copy it again if you want, but it, you don't need to, it's, it's already there. Only copy it again if you've subsequently changed it and you want to pick up the changes. Uh, you can cut it, we'll obviously cut it, but keep it within the, the clipboard. Uh, delete, we'll obviously remove it. Remove selection, removes the blue field, and it also removes what's in your clipboard. And I don't know what that does. Let's find out. Uh, you cannot place this block on a capital vessel. Nah, okay, whatever. I don't know what field selection does. I'll cover that in another episode once I find out what it does. <laughs> Save to list saves this copied element into this list here. So if you've got lots of different elements that we want to use time and time again, you create your selection and then save to list and it will show down in this list here. I'll give it a name of cargo pod, for example. Okay, there it is. So if I want to come back and paste that again into this build later on, I can do that. I can select it here um, and then just paste it in basically. Uh, replace if you want to replace one of your saved parts with the selection that you've got that's what the replace does copy to selection and think that copies the selected thing into into your paste so if you okay so if you've got a selection and you've got a, an item um, selected down here uh, instead of whatever you've copied it will it will put whatever you copy to selection into your selection into the clipboard basically so it just overwrites your clipboard with whatever you've got down selected down here okay so that's that's it really that is the copy and paste function but one thing you might have noticed you eagle-eyed viewers out there is that even though I've got symmetry mode switched on it did not put it over here so even though it's pasted it here, the symmetry mode, at, and its current configuration at the time of recording this video, uh, copy and paste is not reflected with symmetry mode. So what you'll need to do is, back into the end key, move that over there. Position yourself in the right place. Switch to your arrows and rotate that bad boy around. Now if I can just click paste there, now rotate it there we go move it one that way just make sure that's in line with the other one it's not i need to move it along a bit like that there you go and then once you're happy you can click paste one more time and there it is and once you're done with uh your selection and everything you just click remove selection and it, and it disappears and you can carry on building but there we go that is, that is copy and paste there, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, uh, the only thing that I don't know about copy and paste is, is what the fill selection means. I have no idea. So if you do know what that means, let me know in the comments, and that'd be great. And hopefully I might co cover it in a later video, uh, unless it's something really, really simple that's covered in the comments down below. Brilliant stuff. Anyway, that is copy and paste. Um, I hope you found that useful. Thank you very much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you in the next Spanjas Build Academy. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.